It's going to be a short vid on um, an M1601 I picked up at the uh, Military Odyssey show. Courtesy of DMB Militaria. I really wanted an M1601 for a long time. I think like when you look about old school Cold War assault rifles, almost some of the first of its kind, this does personify um, at least Western firearms design coming out of America in that era. This particular example, I believe, dates to somewhere around the mid 60s, mid to late 60s. So that serial range is a mid 60s um, Colt M1601 manufacturer rifle. So clearly, it's an ex military piece. You've got your safe, semi, and fun switch. And as part of your use spec, these move with a really positive lock into place. Then, if you can hear that, it really locks in. It's not floppy, is what I'm trying to say. It really locks in with uh, a lot of positivity. So the bolt release doesn't work, doesn't move around. It's been welded in some sort of shape or form. Um, the really cool thing about the uh, EU spec guns is that you can rack the bolt, or they've manufactured it in a way that you that that that, they, that you can move the bolt backwards. So let me just demonstrate that for a second. It rides along that there and slams home. So I do believe it's original bolt and I've just taken a part out of it um, or machined a part out of it to give the fascia I guess of the, uh, the of the original bolt and the really cool thing is that the um, when you cock it that folds down so it's really apart from clicking it's an old spec firearm you know a lot of people moan about the EU spec but you know with the particular types of firearms especially assault rifles and submachine guns um it really is a lot better than at a uk spec i did get myself a um a 20 round mag it's got the same markings on it as the uh, receiver colt manufacturer and the uh, 20 round mags more in line with the vietnam era weapons i think the really early m1601s had a uh, what they call uh, the three prongs flash suppressor. This is the bird cage flash suppressor that superseded it. The bird cage, uh, the uh, three prongs prongs, <laughs> three prongs flash suppressor. Um, evidently used to get caught on the brush um, where it was open top. Where this is like the you know the machine parts are, are covered by this protective area here. So it's a machine piece of a uh, piece of metal. But yeah, that's why I changed it over. Got the slings with up front. Got a classic M1601 handguards. I think they're really cool. Front sight. Moving to the back of the gun, you've got the uh, the A1 style teardrop they call it. Forward assist moves in ever so slightly. Probably not all the way to where it should do, but moves together slightly. Got a magazine release here, and that's it. DMB have said to me that uh, in order to try and promote my video, they'd give anybody free postage on this item if they rang up and quoted Spec Ops Jimmy. So grab yourself a bargain with DMB. We're always up for a bit of negotiation. I've always bought most of my collection from DMB. Great firm, great bunch of lads, and they're offering free postage if you quote Spec Ops Jimmy. So quote Spec Ops Jimmy, the name of my channel, and grab yourself some free postage on this item. Thanks for watching.